With a name like cool as a cucumber soup, this recipe sounds like a refreshing one on such a hot and steamy day. It's one of many tasty southern dishes you'll find in Tammy Allgood's latest cookbook, Sunday Dinner in the South. We've got Tammy back in the kitchen with us. We always love it when you're in the kitchen with us. And when we yeah. think soup, we usually think hot, but this is a cool soup. That's right. That's right. And the refrigerator helps you, so the longer it sits, the better it gets. Okay. My right. husband says he's the same way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, right, so get here's, started. here's what we're doing. We're going we're gonna to add a couple of cloves of garlic to this oil that mm -hmm. we've got heated up. Okay. So, yeah, we're talking cold soup, but we're going to just kind of soften everything in the skillet first. Okay, all right. And then we're going to just uh, put this in the refrigerator and let it cool down. Okay, okay? all right. So, we've got those, that garlic going, and mm -hmm. then what I'm doing... Leland, is I'm adding about four tomatoes from my garden, and I've got a mixture of yellow and red tomatoes yeah. in here that I've chopped up and peeled. And we're going to add that to it. Again, it's got so much juice, I'm going to try not to, that, <laughs> that you probably don't have to add much liquid other than that. Okay, all right. Because they're just so full of juice right now. If we were using winter tomatoes, it not, might not be the I story. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just let, let that kind of soften. Soften up a little mm -hmm. bit, and while you're doing exactly what you're doing, I'm going to add some salt and pepper and some vinegar. So think of this kind of like um, we're going to puree it, but it's going like, to be a pureed version of gazpacho. Okay. Okay. So so then we're going to add because it's got so much liquid. I'm not going to add hardly any tomato juice at all. Mm -hmm. Just a little splash, and then a little bit of hot sauce. This is homemade hot sauce that Ooh. I. Made. Oh man, hot sauce. Yeah, so it's not going to take much of that. And then we don't want to soften our cucumbers too much, okay. but I'm just going to add those toward the end of it for you to just add, stir in. And basically those are peeled and just chopped, and that's two large cucumbers from your garden. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let this cool down because if you've ever put anything warm in your blender, you yeah. know not to do that again. <laughs> so after that has cooled down, we're going to puree that. Okay. And then we're going to put it back in the refrigerator and let it sit for about four hours before we serve it. So we want to serve it cold mm -hmm. and we want to serve it pureed. You could eat it like this, but yeah. we just want something nice and smooth for the, for the, for the summer. And then my suggestion is to serve it with a nice cold salad. Like we've got this I um, like that spinach too. salad and we're using a watermelon slice uh -huh. kind of as our plate underneath the salad. Yeah. So a nice green salad in this, you've got a wonderful uh, ladies lunch. Uh, that men can enjoy as well. <laughs> a southern <laughs> ladies' lunch. That's is that what? <laughs> that's exactly right. Uh -huh. And with a nice cool beverage. And then, so you've basically got your garden on a plate there. So yeah. it's really easy and you can make it ahead so you don't have to be cooking while your guests are here. So it's a really good, easy recipe to make and then just keep in the fridge and use it as you need it. All right. So once this is said and done, you said it's better, I guess, as it sits in the fridge longer. Right. How long can we keep this? You can and keep it about four days you need to it's going to be at its peak about two days mm -hmm. so you can make it up to two days ahead and it's going to be absolutely perfect okay super and then if you if by then it it gets a little too thick you can always add a little bit more tomato juice to okay. it to to thin it out a little bit so so keep it as thin as you as want you it can. to be all right that's what it looks like when everything is said and done looks good tammy this is recipe number 5398 it's available on our website right now at newschannel5.com. You can also find it in Tammy's latest cookbook, Sunday Dinner in the South, which is available wherever books are sold. Again,